in play. Folsher entering Angleton on homecoming, and you wondered if maybe they would feel the pressure. Well, let's walk you through it. Let's head to Wildcat Stadium in Angleton. As we noted earlier in the show, Folsher, first 4-0 start in program history. While well, Angleton, again, was celebrating all things homecoming. And in the first, it's quarterback Adrian Ewells rolling left and throwing a dagger to Aaron Greer. Angleton up 7-0 at home early later in the first frame. Fulcher, though, inside the 10. This is running back Davian Godley taking it in. Missed extra point, so Fulcher trailing 7-6 at this point. Still in the first, less than a minute later. Angleton wide receiver Greer catching it over the middle. That would be his second score, again, just in the first quarter Homecoming, Angleton leading 14-6. Under two minutes in the second quarter now. Folsher trailing 28-20. Godley taking it up the middle again. They're like trading scores here tonight. That's a 75-yarder. So, so far the longest missed two-point conversion. So, Folsher getting, you know, I, I, I admire it. They're getting risky. Trailing 28-26 at half in the third. Same score. Angleton rushing it in. Leading 34-26 later in the third frame. Folsher is godly yet again. Can he do it? 30 yards later, he's like, yep, another reservation for six. Try for the two-point again. No good. Folsher down 34-32 in the final quarter. Folsher wide receiver Jax Medica with a short touchdown catch. So Folsher's first lead would come in the fourth with a minute left to go. Angleton trailing Angleton's Thomas rushing right and he's like, yeah, we're going to snatch that back. We need a homecoming win. 44-40 would be the final at Wildcat Stadium down there in the greater Houston area where our Shelby Coppage was on hand for a reaction. Tonight, the Angleton Wildcats took down the Folsom Chargers for the Angleton's homecoming victory. What started as the Wildcats struggling defensively the first three quarters quickly turned into experience shown by their nine returning starters on defense. You know, we came up with big stops when, when we needed them. Uh, they've been in two-minute drill situations before. They've been in situations where they had to stop people before, and tonight they came up with it. Quarterback Adrian Yule, who Coach Britton said is the heart of the team, says the chemistry he has with his receivers comes from relationships that take a lot of work. Hey, we practice like back shoulder passes every day at practice, get the chemistry, everybody run full speed, get everything done. Offense came together, defense came together in the second half, and then we just kept going and running up the score. Defense got the stops we needed, and we won the game. While Fulcher is one of the highest scoring teams that Coach Britton and the Wildcats have ever played, Coach Britton told his team tonight, you faced adversity. Now you have to learn how to handle success.